This is Alex Holcomb with Applied Information Sciences and what I want to show you now is how you can use a secondary list to maintain information from a custom field control and this is using Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007. So what I want to do is expand on my relationship field and I'm trying to create a field where I can define and manage relationships between documents and in my previous example I went ahead and created a custom field and field control where I could uh, initially define this relationship. Uh, in my shared documents library here, I've got two documents that have the same content, they're editions of each other. Uh, and what I had is I come in here and uh, edit this. I'm using the asset URL selector to provide this functionality to go and uh, use the UI to pick the corresponding document in the relationship. And then I store that value that's selected, uh, the path, inside of this relationship field. I want to expand on this in a couple ways. One, I want to define the type of relationship that this is uh, and store that so that uh, I know whether it's a copy or a rendition or an email attachment, for instance. Uh, the other thing is I want this relationship to be reflected on both documents. In this case, it's only being reflected on the one that I'm modifying and it's not showing up in the, in the secondary document. So to expand on it in both of those ways, uh, first we'll look at how we're going to uh, maintain the types of relationships. So I've created a list over here called Relationship Type Lookup and this is what I'm going to use to store and manage the types of relationships that are available. Uh, I'm just, I've just got two items here in the, in the title field. I've populated with rendition and copy and in this scenario these are the two types of relationships that I can use. Uh, so that's going to help me with the type of relationship. Now actually storing this information so that it's reflected in both uh, documents. The way I'm going to do that is by storing all that relationship information inside of this relationship lookup field or this relationship lookup list. Uh, this is a list that has uh, five fields in it. A relationship type and this is a lookup field to that relationship type lookup list uh, and in, inside of this field the values can be uh, whatever's in that title field for that lookup list. Uh, so it'll be rendition or copy here. Uh, and then I've got fields uh, list, uh, list um, item one, list one, item two, and list two. And I'm going to store in these fields the GUIDs for the items and lists that are part of this relationship. So instead of storing the path to the corresponding document, I'm going to store the GUID for the current document and the library that that document is in. And that's going to be in item one and list one. And then the corresponding document that's part of the relationship the GUID for the, the corresponding document is going to be in item 2 and the GUID that that document is in is going to be in list 2. Uh, I'm not going to store anything inside of this relationship field. Rather I'm going to use that field control to do the work for me and uh, we're just going to store the values that are selected in the secondary um, list. So let me go ahead and modify this and get rid of this value because we don't want to populate this anymore. And I'm going to go back to the code for my custom field control. And there's a couple things that I've added here. Uh, one in the create child controls method. Uh, I'm still checking to see if this is in edit mode. Uh, and if it is, I want to add that drop down list um, so that the user can select the type of relationship that this is. So I go ahead and uh, define a new drop down list. I populate it with all of the values from that relationship type lookup list, right, from the title field there. Um, I add it to my controls collection and that's going to give me that nice drop down that's going to be populated with all of the types of relationships uh, available to the user. Um, again, I also add the asset URL selector control uh, and that'll be right next to that drop down list. Uh, the other thing I'm doing here, so that will provide the UI uh, for the user to select the type of relationship as well as select the corresponding document in the relationship. Uh, now I want to handle uh, populating that relationship lookup list whenever they do select uh, a document. So in the onload method, now what I had previously was I was just setting the uh, list item field value uh, to whatever the asset URL property was for that uh, from the asset URL selector. I don't want to do that anymore because like I said I don't want to populate this field with any values. I want to store all the values in that secondary list. So I want to store the GUIDs for the current document list item and the current library that that list item resides in. 
So I go and uh, I get the GUIDs for that. And then I do a lookup, right? I take what they have selected from that asset URL selector. Um, I get the file. And then um, I go and get the unique ID, which is the GUID for the item for that document list or that document library list item. Um, so I get the GUID for item two and I get the GUID for the list that item two is in. Uh, and then um, I just go create a new list item in that relationship lookup list. And I populate uh, uh, item one, list one, item two, list two, and relationship type uh, with the proper values and do an update. So let me go ahead and uh, deploy this, run my script. come back here and uh, we'll look at what happens now when I choose to edit this. So when we come back to edit this now, you see that this is populated here with this drop down and those values are coming from that relationship type lookup list. And we'll say this is a rendition and we'll use the browse button. And again, this is coming from the asset URL selector that we implemented earlier. We'll select the text one document. Click OK. Uh, and again, our code will translate um, this path into the GUIDs that we're looking for. When I click OK here, you see nothing's populated in the relationship field. Uh, instead, we go look at our relationship lookup list and we see that these values are now populated. Again, rendition is a lookup, right? That's the type of relationship. Um, item one is the GUID for that DOCX Word document. Um, list one is the document library that that document resides in. Item two is my the GUID for my text document. And list two is the GUID for the list that that text document resides in. Uh, so we're almost there. The last piece of this, which will be another example, is showing how we take this information and then display it inside of our custom field uh, on both sides of the relationship.